Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new PC has gone right reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the da Ah, okay. Welcome to my church. Anyway, I do hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and had a wonderful start to your week, weekend. I'm not sure when this video is going up, but I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Anyway, today we are diving back into the world of piercings gone right. You guys really loved the last one I did, and that was the first time I did one for a long time. So maybe I'll try to make this a little bit more frequently. There's just as not much as much content for me to watch or react to than it is like the piercings gone wrong. But I'll try to make these a little bit more frequently. As always, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And Yes, oh, let's just get on with it. Let's not beat around the bush, Watlie, and watch some piercings gone. <gasps> right. Oh, how st Okay, this is gorgeous. What a gorgeous ear. Oh, okay, sorry. There's so much to look at. I'm like, what part do I see first? Okay, so they've got two upper, for well, forward helix piercings. They've got a rook piercing, a flat piercing, helix, 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 upper lobe, upper lobe. What, what part? I guess that would still be upper lobe. I'm not sure exactly what you would call it. And a couple low piercings with a chain going between these bottom two. And a date piercing, a conch piercing, and a tragus piercing. This is gorgeous. And I want to say as well, this just looking at the skin, it looks more like a slightly older person. And I love the fact that this person is expressing themselves regardless of their age. I know a lot of people have been like, am I too old for piercings, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely not. If you are never, 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 never too old, ever, 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 to express yourself. If you want to wear a certain type of clothing, you want to dye your hair bright electric blue, you want to pierce your ears up like this, your age is literally irrelevant, completely irrelevant. Unless obviously you've got health issues and stuff, but like do not let any of that stuff stop you from expressing yourself because it's so important to always be yourself, to always express yourself and to always do what makes you happy throughout your entire life. Don't stop because you've got old. I'm gonna be an 80 year old man with piercings, completely covered in tattoos and you know, still listening to happy hardcore music. Like this is, you know, that's how I'm gonna be when I'm older. I'm never gonna let people stop me. This ear is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It all looks clean, well looked after, everything looks healed. I just, this is just stunning. Like, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. She's absolutely stunning. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it is like a, it's a flat piercing on the top of the ear, on the flat, and it's like a dagger with like, um, I think that's like, is that a bit of blood? I think it's like almost like meant to be like a blood drip going down in the center. I love this. I think this is such a cool little piece of jewelry. I really love unique style jewelry where, you know, we, I've never seen anything like this before. I've never shopping at BHS again. I've never seen anything like this before. This is really cute. I really like how this is done. I would like to try and maybe get like a fun piece of jewelry. I don't know exactly where I'd put it, but like something a little bit more unique than just like the studs and hoops that I do have. So I'm on the lookout for something spooky. Stabby wabby with a daggy waggy. God, a wa I haven't heard of the word wag in a long time. I'm a footballer's wife. Probably consider it a slur now. I shouldn't say it, should I really? Oh, okay. So that's really cute. So I'm going to zoom into the little spider bit at the top. See, this is really cute. I love this spider earring. I will say, I do think the web tattoo, I probably could have been done a little bit better. Like, I prefer if it was like an actual spider web, but like the bit in the middle and then it goes out as like a, a star shape um, rather than this kind of just down the side of the ear. But I do love the spider, the spider piercing. I think it's really cool. Again, it's another one of those things where the jewelry is a little bit more unique than you normally would see. And I think this is really pretty. I love how they've done this in the flat part of the ear. I do think the spider web could have been done a little bit better to look more like a spider web rather than sort of curtains draped over an ear. But I do think this is really pretty. Although I absolutely hate spiders. I'm a arachnophobe through and through. I think it's always funny because like my biggest fear in the world is death. I hate like the, the idea of death is the most terrifying thing ever. Like, oh my God. But I'm obsessed with like skulls and dark things. I love gothic culture. I love, I like, I love all spooky things. I love, I just love everything like evil. <laughs> so it's a weird thing to be like, I love this earring because I absolutely hate spiders. It's strange how sometimes you can love things that you're also scared of. I don't know. It's a weird, like a morbid fascination with it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So let me just, okay, wait. Okay. There's lots to process. Lots to process in this, in this photo. So a dermal on their anti-eyebrow area. They've got double nose piercings. They've got stacks, se septum load of hoops as well a Medusa, a lip piercing. Oh, there's a gestrum, sorry. It's a vertical, it's a vertical Medusa or a gestrum, whatever you want to call it. Cheek piercings, but this whole section here with the enormous 
jewelry in the stretched ear. Now, I'm instantly going, that is going to be so heavy. Now, her ear is incredibly large, so something heavier in a larger stretch isn't as problematic as, like, if you have a really tiny, tiny hole. Because, obviously, when you have, like, a piercing gun size, if you have something really heavy going through, because it's so thin, it can rip through the ear really easily. This will be a lot more difficult because it's a lot bigger, but I still kind of panic about the weight of this, but I'm pretty sure at this point they know what they're doing. Like, like, but I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's very unique with the crystals and the gold. Very unique. You live, you laugh, girl. I do worry about the weight, but I mean, you, you look cool. You look cool. Okay, so, I mean, I'm assuming this is probably freshly done because it does look a bit red, but I do love how this one is. So it's like a a boomerang, <laughs> a boomerang. I've got a boomerang in my ear. You throw me and I'll come crawling back. Um. Okay, but I really like this. I think this is really cool. So it's like a, a, an alternative way of getting an industrial piercing. So instead of a, a bar from top to bottom, there's two top ones and they kind of go from the side and sort of at a right angle. I really love how this is like a real unique style of industrial piercing. I think this is really cool. And I love the fact that they've got like a gem in the center. I do think the gem's really pretty as well. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, I think this is really pretty. I really, really like how they've done this. Um, I can't believe you've done this. I really like how they've done this. And I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I think out of anything we see, the different ways that people have decided to do industrial piercings is one of the things that I find the most fascinating. Is this really love or just gout? Oh gosh, oh, wow. I mean, that, I'm, uh, first of all, let me just state, this would be so difficult to heal. Oh my gosh. It's unique, a double orbital. Um, I, You know, that is technically four piercings. You're only really gonna get three as maximum. Two is my recommendation. Three to me is even borderline, but that's four. So this person will have a very difficult time healing this, especially because of the kind of piercing it is, because it's not like a straight bar. It's curved, which makes it even harder to heal. I like the idea of this and I think it looks cool. In my mind though, I'm just going to like problematic things of like, it's gonna be hurt, it's gonna really be painful, it's gonna be really hard to heal, it's gonna be really annoying. You see the top of the ear already looks quite swollen. Um, so, if you manage to heal this, good for you. I like it. I think it looks cool. It's very unique. It's very different. But I just, to me, it wouldn't be worth the risk. I would say you should have got one and then got the other one done at a different time. To get them both at the same time just seems a lot. If you want to get two orbital piercings, get one done, let it heal, then get the next. Doing it both at the same time is just going to add a lot of stress to already a stressful piercing. Oh, see, I love this. I, I I feel like we may have seen this a long time ago. I don't do these videos like the piercing's gone right very often, so it's very difficult for me to remember exactly what I have seen because there's always such huge gaps between these videos, but I do really like this. I think this is really cool. I love, I've always wanted a spiral piercing, but because of the way I had my ears pierced, I never had the chance to really do it because I had too many in the way. But no, I do think this is really cool. And I think done right, Spiral piercings look gorgeous. I love how this one's done. Oh, look, that's so cool. Okay, I love this so much. The dragon is a dragon, girls. Let's zoom in a little bit. I think that's, oh, I love that so much. Again, this is another style of jewelry that I've never seen before. We've seen many different like concepts and different kind of, you know, as we saw near the beginning, the dagger. But I love this, the dragon, the dragon. I love it. That's that's very cool. I like that a lot. This person needs a few more piercings in the ear now. Let's pierce them up. I feel very salivary today. What's wrong with me? Oh, what a fun set of jewelry. Okay, 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 there's lots. Oh my God, look, this is a belly button piercing uh, here on the side here. I hope you can see my mouse cursor. There's a belly button piercing, but it has like a like a dinosaur skeleton hanging off it. That's, okay, I love that. Love, 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 love that. Uh, cool. And they've got one here with like a mermaid tail coming off and some scissors. That's really cool. So the top and bottom is like scissors. I love that. I mean, it's all iridescent as well, a rainbow, which I absolutely love. Some of this jewelry stuff that I would love to have. I would love this like scissor thing. That's really cool. Scissoring girls. Disgusting. So this piercing here, is this like a fake septum hoop? Are you going to put that in there? That kind of comes down like that. Is that what that is? I think that's what it is. Really pretty again, though. This, this is gorgeous. Okay, so oh, so this is okay. So this is a double flat piercing, and it, is that like meant to be like an antler? Is that like antlers? That's really cool. I I think this is really nice. Oh, you can see at the bottom here how the piercing goes through. This is really sweet. 
antlers. I I'm pretty sure this is like an antler. I think it's an antler, like a, like a, like a reindeer's antler. This is very cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we have a collection of piercings here on this guy's face. So they've got mantis piercings, which are the two at the front here. They've got two upper, uh, higher nostril piercings with a chain in the middle. I'm assuming they probably got two nostril piercings, one on each side as well. You can't see the other side, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably mirrored. And they have a Medusa piercing and then a stacked septum hole. I love this. I think it's really pretty. It's really gorgeous. Everything looks nice and healed. I am fascinated with mantis piercings and how the like, healing process of them are. Um, I know they're a little bit tricky to get pierced because obviously you have to kind of go on the inside. It's a difficult piercing to do. I'm, I don't want to have a video of me shoving my fingers in my nose, but it's definitely a difficult one to do to go through the front here and come out the top here. Definitely difficult. It'll be very difficult to line it up perfectly as well. This looks gorgeous. I think this is really pretty. Um, and look at those eyelashes. Yes, queen. Look at those lashes, girl. Oh my gosh. I missed that fun piercing. Throw back. Wait, so you've got a Lebre piercing and it kind of, surely that would, and it comes like in the inside and then comes out the top and droops down. But surely that would like really rub against your teeth on the inside. Is it flat on the inside? Like when it goes on the inside bit, does it go straight up or is it kind of curved? As it's coming up the lip, it looks like it's like curved here. It's not like flat and then coming down. I'm really curious about this. I really want to know like what the T is. And also like under here, does it do anything here? Is it going in anywhere, anywhere there? Or is it just, is that just the end of it? I have seen before, Guys have had Libre piercings or dolphin bites or something where like they have like a metal bit coming from the bottom here. So it looks like a metal beard. But this is the first time I've seen it where like it also does this, but then also comes out the top as well. It's an interesting piece of jewelry. I wonder where you got that from. Like I'm assuming this would have been like specifically made for you, but I do worry that it would rub against the inside here. Who knows? It's getting to that stage now where it's getting really warm here and like the, the temperature's kind of like getting up. So filming is becoming a little bit more hard because it's getting so hot. So I have to start putting my fan on. Oh my God. Oh, here we go again. So here is another, another very uh, pierced up ear of someone. This is gorgeous. I love this as well. This is really, really nice. So they've got a triple forward helix piercings. So they've got three flat piercings kind of going around the curvature of the ear. They've got a few helix piercings obviously going around and a couple upper lobes. And uh, I'm assuming that's just a, a stud, but it's just big on the front. It might be a stretch lobe. I'm not too sure. A contra piercing and a tragus. This out of brook. Again, this looks really nice. Everything looks pretty. Everything looks nice and healed. There's no bumps, no marks or anything. This person's clearly looked after themselves. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, 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 love. Very pretty, very well done, stunning. Okay, so here we are with another version of a industrial piercing. So this is a vertical helix piercing going into a rook piercing, and they've got one long bar going through the whole thing. This is, I'm assuming you probably got this done matched up perfectly, or maybe you got it done at the same time. I was, um, I wonder what the healing process of this would have been like as well, because again, with most industrial piercings, they are notoriously difficult to heal. So I'm really interested to know like the healing process of this piercing, but I think it looks really cool. I like it. I'm not sure exactly what happened at the bottom part of your ear. It looks like you had a few piercings that have gone funny, but um, I'm glad that your ears are healed up and stuff and you haven't been left with any real issues to what I can see. But um, yeah, I love the, I love, I love, I love, love this, uh, way of doing an industrial piercing. Again, it's industrial piercings. I love, I love how they look. They're so cool. Oh, look at the little fluffy. Okay, so people don't know me. I love cats. I love dogs. I don't really have a special, I'm not like a cat or dog person, like individually. I love both equally. This is really cute. This is very, very cute. It's a nice fluff. I think it's more of a dog than a cat, isn't it? It looks very cute. I love it, I love it, love it. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. I want a Shiba Inu. I've always wanted a Shiba Inu. I just love them so much. They're like my favorite dog ever. They've got the cutest faces. I cannot wait to get one at some point in the future. So Luxaria will be moving to my location very, very soon, which I'm really excited about. And she's going to get a, a dash and, um, dash hound. Uh, it's going to be called Biscuit and I can't wait to babysit the little doggy. Oh, okay. So I've, I feel like I've definitely seen this before. And now this is two studs with a smiley underneath it. So this is three flat piercings at the top of the ear, but they've been crafted. Uh, the bar's been crafted in a way to make a smiley face. This is really cute. This is very cute. I love this a lot. This is very, very cute. Um, but I do think I have seen this a long time ago. Again, it's, it's kind of difficult to remember exactly what I have and haven't seen when it comes to the piercings gone right videos. But I do feel like I've seen this, but I love it. I love it. I love it. The ear's obviously quite red. It's probably, it must have, I'm pretty sure this has just been done. But 
This is so cute. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Again, so this is another way of doing an industrial piercing. So this guy's ear doesn't have the right shape for a proper industrial piercing when it goes from the top to the side. You can see at the bottom half here, the bottom half here, there's just not enough rim to be able to do an industrial piercing. The top bit would be, but it's the bottom bit doesn't. So they've got like half of it. So it's kind of in the flat area. So I'm assuming the top and the bottom bits is where the piercing goes through. And they've got like a shorter barbell conjoining them to look like an industrial piercing. This is a perfect, perfect way to do one if you cannot get it. Please, 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 please make sure that you do your research about body autonomy and what you have and what you don't have to know if you have this piercing. The second time I got my industrial piercing done, she did it way, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have had it done. Again, this is in the early days. Blue banana, long time ago, my ear ate the bottom half of the bar because it was, my ear just wasn't the right shape. This would have been a perfect way of doing it instead. Um, so please just remember that, make sure you do your research about these piercings. This is a really, really, really good alternative to do. That kind of gives the illusion of industrial piercing, but it isn't actually one. Okay, so this is interesting. Have we seen this before? I'm not sure, but. Okay, so this person's got two eyebrow piercings, but the eyebrow piercings are done at the front here. This is very rare to see. Um, I've not really seen many people at all to have eyebrow piercings at the front of the eyebrow rather than out on the sides. Um, and they have a bridge piercing as well. Oh, I love bridge piercing so much. I wonder how different it would be when it comes to uh, catching them. So when I had my eyebrow pierced, I would catch it all the time, constantly all the time. And I wonder if it would be any different if it was on the inside rather than the outside here. So yeah, I'm not sure how different that would be. Oh, this is pretty. So this is a conch piercing, but they have like, is it is that like a Celtic knot? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure exactly what the names are of these things. Um, but it looks like a Celtic knot. I think that's what it's called. Uh, but that's really pretty. It's very large. It's very large in the ear, but I think it fits this person's conch well it's not oversized it's like the perfect shape i love this i think this is really pretty i like the fact that there's like a nice color gem in the middle as well like sort of that whitey blue color absolutely pretty i think this is absolutely gorgeous the one thing i always hate and the same thing is what happens when i take photos of my ear is like i hate having like real close-ups of the ear where you can see like the little hairs and the veins and stuff it's so annoying whenever i take photos of my ears i'm like oh no you can see everything no matter how clean or wonderful you are a close-up of this caliber is always looks a bit kind of like, ew, you can see all the lines and everything in the ear. <laughs> well, guys, I'm not aboard the trigger train. I'm not speeding down the railway and I'm not about to crash off a cliff. And I'm not about to say, bye. Oh, we've done a nice couple of positive videos recently. It's been fun. Ooh, delicious. We love to see it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Some of these things have been so gorgeous. I'm still kind of shook about the double orbital. That does kind of worry me still. I'm a bit like, oh, it's going to hurt so much. It's going to be, ah. But, you know, you let me laugh, girl. And of course, some of the really cool jewelry we've seen, like the dragon, the dragon. I think out of all of the stuff, the little dragon jewelry, the little dragon stud, it was my favorite. So cute. So cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm just sort of looking at all the things here in front of me. I'm like, what else? What else? Are my favorites. Um, I love that uh, there was a woman who had a really, she was a slightly older woman who had the really pierced up here. Gorgeous as well. Lovely, stunning jewelry. Lovely color. Lovely coloring. Absolutely stunning. That was really nice. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the more positive side of piercing stuff. Um, if you would like some more videos like this, please let me know down below. Comment down below, potato bags. And that's how I know you want to do more videos like this. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Of course, make sure you do come and follow me on all my social medias linked down below. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Burly Wolf 88 Ooh, howling at the moon. If you'd like to be part of the Twitch family, make sure you do come follow me over on Twitch. It's Relly West and you can maybe be in the next Twitch shout out in my next video. I stream three to four nights a week, so come over and join the fun. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side here. Thank you for being a patron. You guys are wonderful. I'm sending you lots of love, but an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons, Aurora666, Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Bootershot93, Brenna, Kaz.Thom, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, Corn Pemberton, Crafty Leaks, Deanna Nida, Heather McFarland, Ai A, Joanna Course, Caitlin Wright, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Laura Alice, Nena Marie, Robin Scott, Sam Perfect, Savannah Truten, Shay Stimpson, Sierra Tonobeni, and Steffi Tech. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are wonderful. And thank you for helping me uh, do this as my full-time job. But anyway, be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch of the day that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you're flawless, girl.